Ciao e bentornati! Welcome back to my channel. I am Ludovica, your language coach, and this is episode number eight of Italian Pills. On today's episode, I want to tackle the topic of I like, how to say that in Italian, and I will show you a couple of ways to go about it. But before we jump into today's topic, I'll leave you a second to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet so you're not going to miss any future episode. And I will also invite you to leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have any specific questions or doubts concerning this episode, any past episode, any future one that you would like to, to see. Um, I accept requests when it comes to specific topics. So if you have a doubt, um, a question that you were not really able to solve on your own, um, you can ask me anything pertaining grammar, language, culture, anything that has to do with Italy, Italians, and Italian language. All right, let's jump into it. So I mentioned how to say I like in Italian, there are two different ways, because while in English, when you say I like, you're putting yourself as the subject of the sentence. In Italian, we flip it. We basically say whatever you like. For example, I like pizza. We basically say that pizza pleases me instead of saying I like pizza. Therefore, if you're liking something singular, you would say mi piace. To me, it pleases. Mi stands for to me and piace, it pleases. Mi piace la pizza. I like pizza. Mi piace la pasta. I like pasta. Mi piace il gelato. So in all of these instances, I'm saying that I like something that it's singular. Therefore, I will use mi piace. Um, you could also use it not just for things, but for actions. I like to sing. Mi piace cantare. I like to ski. Uh, mi piace sciare. Now, when it comes to liking multiple things, such as I like cookies, we're talking about more than one. You like cookies in general. Biscotti. You surely know this word in Italian. I biscotti. The cookies. So at this point, we're not talking about a singular thing and it pleasing us, but they. A plurality. So the verb needs to become piacciono. They please rather than it pleases. So to me, they please, mi piacciono. Mi piacciono i biscotti. Mi piacciono gli affettati, cold cuts, or cured meat. Non mi piacciono, now I'm putting non in front of it, so I'm negating the sentence I don't like. Literally, not to me, they please. Non mi piacciono le melanzane, for example. I have to admit, I don't like eggplants. Non mi piace, now we're going back to the singular thing that I don't like, so not to me it pleases, non mi piace, non mi piace aspettare, I don't like to wait, non mi piace essere in ritardo, I don't like to be late, I don't like being late. Another example will be non mi piace la birra, I don't like beer, Ma mi piacciono molto l'acqua e il vino. But I like a lot, to me they please a lot, water and wine. So here I'm mentioning two things that I like, therefore mi piacciono. So you see how the subject could be plural, not necessarily in the i biscotti kind of way, the cookies. It could be two things, two separate things, such as l'acqua e il vino. And still in this case, I will need to use mi piacciono. Mi piacciono l'acqua e il vino. I like water and wine. Um, non mi piace la birra. I don't like beer. If I wanted to say that I like water, and I'm only isolating and talking about water, then once more I go back to the singular version, mi piace. Mi piace l'acqua. So the basic trick is to remember that every time you say I like in Italian, you're actually saying to me it pleases or to me they please. And so you have to create accordance between the number 
um, in the verb and the subject. So if you're talking about multiple things, they please me, mi piacciono. If you're talking about one thing and one thing only, it pleases me, mi piace. This is the basic distinction. Of course, if you change that me into ti, ci, etc., you will change the person that is pleased by the thing. So, mi piace la pasta. I like pasta because I'm saying me to me. But ti piace la pasta. That would be you like pasta. To you, it pleases pasta. Ti piace. Um, once you get familiar with these pronouns, you will be able to swap them very, very easily. The main thing that I want to focus on today, though, is the distinction between I like for singular things, mi piace, and I like for plural things, mi piacciono. That's it for today. I hope I made the distinction between mi piace and mi piacciono very clear. And if it's not, please give me some feedback, leave me a comment below, or ask additional questions. I'm always here and happy to help. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in a week. See you next time. Ciao, a presto.